Ooh. Hello everybody, what a wonderful day we're experiencing today here at uh, wherever we are. So, if you saw my community post, I'm having a little bit of struggles with YouTube in general at the minute in terms of what it's allowing me to do for details. That includes, apparently, streams as well. So we're having a little bit of a an upward struggle with trying to get the right um, details, I guess, for the videos and streams and everything else. Today, my friend, we've moved our base yesterday. And we moved it a lot further away because it kept popping off of the world. So we've moved it to this kind of like hill. And we've lifted it up a bit so I can get underneath it. I do need to lift it up a little bit more. But today I think we'll be looking at the farm. I was having a little bit of a, a thought process overnight. Oh, got to wait for it to load up. Still not loaded yet. Still lagging. But I was having a little thought process overnight about how I could do a monorail that would work. And I'm not too sure. So I've got a few ideas. But we'll see. But basically... First things first, I guess, we're going to have to find a way to get actually up into base. And then we'll go from there, but we'll see what happens. How's it going, Garrett? They're popping off the world. Yeah, it was mad. You can probably catch that, actually. In one of my videos that I just uploaded. It's the, the short, the minute long, why does this keep happening on Scrap Mechanic video, kind of. Yeah, it says everything you need to do. So I'm just going to disconnect this so it pops off again. But that's okay because we're just lifting it up a bit more. Because when I'm in the vehicle, when I get out, I bang my head. So I just want to lift it up so we've got a little bit of height. And then obviously this is going to cause problems in itself. Because we're not going to be able to get here. Or oh, maybe we will. And then we're going to get stuck in the, stuck in the oil. But... Yeah, yesterday was a frustrating at best stream. I think is the the nicest way of putting it. But we managed to do something anyway. And now I'm going to be too short to get here. Um, <laughs> okay, so that might be a little bit too high now. Yeah, that's a little bit too high, but you get the idea. I need to bring this... I need to get the right height for this. Now that's going to be too low, and then it'll be too high, and everything else in between. So I just... I want to get it because... Um, today we're going to be needing a lot of logic blocks and all that kind of thing. Well, that was lucky. Because I've got, I got an idea... Hey, there we go. I've got an idea about using a little lift that uses pretty much the same principle as... Ooh. Yeah, I want to use a little lift that uses the same principle as the suspension glitch. Not glitch, but the suspension... Uh, what am I trying to say? Pressure plate. So if we can use a pressure plate to get ourselves up, we will do that. But we're going to be doing a lot of stuff just got to think about how it'll work actually so the idea is uh, where shall we have as our get out of jail free card I want it out of the way might have to move all of that over this side again so for now, I'll just use this bit of the floor here, okay? So we want to put a piston on the underside. This is what my thought process is. So this piston is under here, and it'll have a floor on it. We don't have enough block. Awesome. And it'll have a floor on it. Nice. So that'll be there. And then what'll happen is... Oh. How's it going, guys? Thanks for dropping by, as usual. You guys are awesome. 
But yeah, so what we're hoping to do now is... Oh, I was hoping that would sit flush. It's just going to be too high. But that's not a problem. So this is our pressure plate. E. So we're going to need all the intricacies of the workings. So we'll have the sensor and then we'll have our loop again. Why did that one go that way up? There we go. So that to that. And then this is where the issue lies. Because we want that to always be on. Until it is activated. Because at the minute... I mean, at the minute, it won't do anything. But we'll be kind of like this. Let me just go down. Where are you? So, boom, 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 boom. another hammer is in the ones in the the mod. I could do. I just don't want to spend the resources. Truth be told. So we need to upgrade this piston. But that's the idea. And then we just need a way to reset it, obviously. Unless... What we can do is make this a switch. Ooh. Ah. Oh, because it's going to trigger itself off and on. So that's not going to work. Oh, I broke it. I broke it. I need to get a button. I have broke it. We've got a button in here. Yep. So, a good old quick emergency reset. There we go. So, oh. i just try that again. So, switch on. No, it's not going to work as a switch. That's a shame. Unless we can invert it. But either way. What? I'm confused. Why is it... Is it one as a button? There we go. Right. So that's basically going to be our up and down. Interesting. So just by the way, the general weight of it all, that might not even actually work. Okay, cool. So that's not going to work. Amazing. We're going to need more logic in order for that to work. Right. So that might go in the bin. Why are you coming on two accounts, my guy? That's just crazy. So as that's not going to work, I'm just going to keep it simple and we are just going to do it on a normal piston and a normal button activation. We're not going to worry about trying to be too smart and clever with it. Let's just keep it simple for now. Keep it classy. And worry about all the fancy looking things later. So we'll keep it nice and bump, so it is nice and level to us, and then we'll get onto the farm and see what happens farm-wise. But for now, here's where we are. Oh, crimey. Here we go. How's everybody going today, anyway? Everybody having a good go? Ooh. Let's move the lift a little bit further out of the way so we don't smash ourselves through the wall. We 
do have two switches. Lavely jabbly. I don't want to switch car. Do we want more than one switch? We'll find out the hard way if we're going to need more than one switch, won't we? It's a good day today. Cool. Nice. Uh, it's going all right. I threw a drink down myself earlier, so that was a, a great start to the day. Unnecessarily so, but it is what it is. Hang on. Where's our autocrafter? Is everything in there? Nope. There it is. Bear with me a second. I have to do things in specific ways. Where's my spray gun? Paint gun. Paint. You are white. Cool. What do we do with the switch? Throw a switch in here. Ah, you can't make scrap wood, can you? Or can you? You can. Awesome, I can get my wood back. Nice. Right. Uh, da -da 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 uh, if you're asking if I'm Pom, you're a bloody uh, Australian, aren't you? But yes, I am. Thought it was a video. How charming. So, where's the farm gone? The farm has gone over here somewhere. Where are we? Where did the farm go? Here. So it's a little bit far away from the water for now. So we're going to have to have a look at... We're going to have to have a look at how we're going to water it. Interesting. I was uh, just having a look, see which way the squares run. They're going to run in that angle and then in that angle, so everything's diagonal to the base, fantastically. But a straight line to the water is going to be here, so if we move the farm across just so we're a little bit straighter onto the water itself. See where we get to out here. And, uh, yeah, I think we've got to be here with the soil just so that it's in render distance of base, meaning that we can just chill at base if we need to and things will render in. It'll be able to harvest and water itself. That's a long run anyway. We'll have a look, see how many component kits we've got and stuff like this. And we'll try and at least get it so it's automatically watering. Hey David, we didn't really miss much today. Right now, we're not long started. You missed a quick catastrophe of how we were going to set up our access to our base and that was about it. Yeah, so when the lights come on, it's pretty much... My limit, I think. So if we just keep these in rows of nine as well, so that when it comes to harvesting, we can, at the very least, we'll be able to harvest the plots. And I guess if we go towards base as well. Keep us nice and, nice and clever. We'll see how we go. Everything's got to run at such strange angles, doesn't it? Right. So watering. Watering is going to be an interesting one looking at that because it means that the vacuum pump isn't going to work either. Because the vacuum pump is going to be too far away from the water, uh, from the render to pick it up. Might have to semi shifty the base a little bit further forwards, maybe. Where's our flatland end? Kind of here. Just 
Just want to get that render distance right. Anyway. Yeah, it turns out I do need a switch down here as well. Which I don't have any. Brilliant. <laughs> no worries, Cube. Everybody's got stuff to do, right? Do not sweat it. You've not really missed anything. Just as getting a bit confused. Water cannon. We can build a water cannon. Awesome. How much is one of these fantastic water pump parts that we can put in a normal chest, though? So we do need a water box regardless, and we do need some more glue. So, glue? We don't have any glue. I'm now wondering if we can get any glue from the lake. That'll be interesting. Yeah, David, you were saying this yesterday. It really doesn't make any sense about the rendering. Like, why your vehicle sort of unrenders. It doesn't make any sense at all. It's very strange. I don't understand what's going on there. Something's a bit dodgy. Something is very dodgy. Rabbit hole of YouTube, huh? You gotta love that there, rabbit hole, though. Where would we be without it? I already have a feeling that this is going to pop out as well. I just don't like how it's uh, it's kind of chilling. Awesome. So that will see us out of metal. So we'll do... Every other. I realise I've made this out of the entirely wrong material. This doesn't need to be such a strong material. This can be the um, rusted metal block stuff that we seem to have loads of. That metal is only really needed... We only really need to use actual metal... To protect the wall because we're going to have the same defense let's be honest we're going to have the same defense that we had around the base last time because it does work and it's cheap and there's if there's blah, 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 blah. and if there's anything i like it's cheap i lost all the cage farmers into the ocean oh man that sucks 
That sucks. I'm gonna need glue for a piston, aren't I? No, I'm not gonna need glue for a piston. Okay, cool. <laughs> How would that help? Well, depends on what you what sort of help you're actually after. It'd help everybody else be amused. Why is it struggling? It should. Interesting. Anyway, woo! Oh, I've done it again. This is why I have to make secure rooms because I'm quite happy just to throw myself out of a building. Yeah, just kind of one big crusher, Garrett. We're going to have them so they're four independently controlled crushers. That way, obviously, they can go off independently rather than just all smash and actually marmite out of each other. Unnecessarily. It does mean that we're going to need a lot more stuff, though. But it's it's better this way because obviously the different height in the wall and everything else that's going to happen will keep us will keep us protected. And looking at this, it means we can adjust the weight that the piston can carry. The suspension, even. Honestly, no, I would not make a world with the subscribers and play together. Just because the lag, it, it's just, it's not worth it. Um, nobody would enjoy it, long and short. Nothing against anybody. I just don't think anybody would appreciate a world that just dies or everybody probably gets three FPS at most. If there's ever a time where they bring out dedicated servers and I've got spare funds, maybe do it that way, but until that day happens, it's not even something that's a question really. I need to turn the sound on so I can hear it. Yeah, that works. Okay, cool. That's one that side. Uh, make sure we don't knock out the suspension. And then that's one that side. That's two. At the very... No, I'm going to need to get four, aren't I? I was going to say, at the very least, I could run this off of two, but... I mean, I could, I guess. But as long as somebody hits that side... It'd be nice, it's just unpractical at the minute, just because of the way that the game is. They need to do a lot more to the game to make that a more fun experience. Hopefully they can, hopefully they will, but I'm not holding out any hope right now. Do we have any more metal? Nope. We do have plenty of concrete though. We don't have any chemicals. But two blocks of concrete. Normal metal anywhere. Normal metal. Normal metal? Normal metal. Ten blocks of normal metal. Awesome. Um ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da. Ooh, damn. Need another piston. We don't have enough for pistons. We need to get some more gear.
Yeah, I really need to put that switch on the outside, to be fair. I did indeed see the devlog 20. I put a little bit of a video just scanning through it quick. I don't know where the, ruin, the, the ruins are, to be fair. They could be a very, very long way away. I imagine they are uh, every other time I've done a base. So the traders over there, the ruins will be about, well, the edge of the map over in that direction. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'd love to see what the specs are of the Axolot computers. Because they seem to have... Flawed. Though saying that, I think if you look at the trailer for Scrap Mechanic, um, so when is it? In the trailer, when the bots are messing up the base, towards the end of the trailer, they drop their vehicle down on the platform and they drive off. If you look, what happens when they drop the vehicle? Its bearings kind of go all cranky. Wait, have I... I seem to have a spare suspension piece. Why did I do that? But yeah, in the trailer, you'll see the bearings for the vehicle go a bit cranky. I've got to be smart here. Maybe, maybe I would be better off taking that off so that they could both go back at the same time. That one and that one. You just know they're going to come to the corners, don't you? There's one block between, one block between. Ooh. One block between. Lovely, lovely. Um, we need to get a a thing going on here. Do, 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 do. This is going to be such an ugly farm. Oh, not the city. Yeah, that'd be an idea. I think we can get away with just one splasher, can't we? This has got to be high enough. To get over the top of a hay bot, but strong enough to hold up. Hold up. Ooh. Then we put this down to size. We'll go for a run in the night then, get some stuff at night time. Because we're going to need some more loot anyway, and uh, there's no time like the present. Is that exactly one block behind it? So we want it exactly in line with. What is going on here? The weight's too much for the this one already. Right, cool. So as it's getting dark, I will go for a looting spree. Hey, how's it going, Lion? Thanks for dropping by. goodies back off of that. Uh, have we got another switch? We don't. No, we don't have another switch. We've got a lot of logic blocks. When do we get so many logic blocks? Why can't I not unstack these? The other day we had this issue, didn't we? Six 
exclusive war. Um, throw this back. Right, let's go for some loot. Got a spud gun, but no spuds. That's great. Uh, some food as well. That'd be an idea. We seem to be a little bit peckish. There we go. Hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. Ooh, fuel. Going up, going up. Uh, fuel, 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 fuel. Do, 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 do. See, I don't have to ask anybody to press the like button because you guys already do it. You don't have to do that. I appreciate it though, but you don't have to do that. Hey Super, I'm doing good. How about yourself? Sad but hilarious. I appreciate that, my guy. When you lose your entire base through the water just because you connected it up to the uh, defense system. I wouldn't say it was hilarious, but... Everybody's got their own sense of humour, you big meanie. Now, a smart person would have come out here and brought the cage with him so that he could collect the robotics and take them back. A dumb person would forget that that was actually something that was possible to do. Never mind, we'll just stick these to the outside of the car instead. I was shift clicking and it didn't seem to do anything. It was taking a whole lot, whether I shift click or not. Unless you can't do it with certain things, unless the fant commands are different. I tell you what, Lion, it's happened so many times across my playing time on this game that it's just... It's starting to run a bit thin, you know? Every base that I've ever had has done it. And I wouldn't mind if I understood why, and then I could stop doing it, but... There's been no um, common denominator, so I have no idea. I have no idea what the plan is. But hopefully now we've moved completely, touch wood, it won't happen again. But I'm not going to hold my breath for it. I imagine it probably will do. Bearing, just what we wanted. That'll come in handy for something, I imagine. What lesson did we learn from that connecting the base to the fence thing? Honestly. I don't even know anymore because I thought it'd all be good. Oh, crumbs. That's what I mean. Like, these guys have got such big bases. And their bases are fine. And then I have this tiny little thing with a smashery bit. And lo and behold, it disconnects it. What do you think it was then, Spastic? Do you think it was something to do with the whole piston and bearing situation going on? And when connected next to the base, it just didn't handle it? Or do you think it's a weight thing? Or... You seem to know, or you seem to have a bit more of an understanding behind a lot of the stuff. You do a lot of your wiki reading. Doesn't need more blocks in the ground. It doesn't. It shouldn't do. If if that's the um, 
the thing behind it, then that's really... I mean, I know what I'm about to say as well. It's really poor design. I avoided putting it through anything that should despawn. So that didn't really work. I'm still on the way backwards. Where the other guy goes. Uh, with the font mod, I think I remember him saying that he tweaked the metal versus stone output so you get a little bit more metal than you would normally. I think that's what he said before. That's true, they do make backups pretty much every time they play. Something that I've never done and something that I know I'm going to learn to regret really, really soon one day. But it's all part of the fun, right? If your world crashes completely and you can't salvage it back. It's reality. It happens. <laughs> take it to uh, take it to the video ref see what he decides hey static spastic in static spastic same difference <laughs> it's all the hay bot's been doing a good clean up job that's what it is Should be another hay bot. I thought I heard one. Hmm. Never close. Yay, your eyes. There's probably like the tip of a block just touching the despawnable. But it was just bad luck that it happened when I connected it up. That's what I couldn't understand. If I'd like. Um, gone away and came back and then it kind of respawned in or spawned in or something and it messed up then arguably there could have been something there but because we came fresh just joined it up together I, it just, I don't know one of scrap mechanics wonderful unknowns I guess they keep us on his toes now we can throw ourselves out this window can't we we can have we missed anywhere, folks? I think we've got everywhere. Oh, I trip over my words at the best of times, so I'll probably end up calling you all sorts of stuff, even if I just say cube. move forwards a lot when I get out of my vehicle. This is another slight inconvenience that I seem to find quite often. Ooh, water. We need some glue anyway, so I might as well go for a dip. That's the thing, I've never been able to make it happen. I've never been able to force the conditions, even if I replicate it. The only way that I've managed to make it happen again is if I weld the base as close to the same spot that it left. And that's always been difficult because I've, I have ran blocks under the ground, 
So obviously you then have to kind of take a layer off of your base and add it all in. It's been an absolute nightmare on my on my very first world. It was such a nightmare to try and keep my base where I wanted to keep it because it kept popping off. And it was getting frustrating because I just couldn't I couldn't understand why. The common denominator that I think I've seen is this weird kind of moss texture of of the ground and I'll see if we've got any over here so where like like this block goes underneath the ground naturally in some parts like here so where the block disappears underneath that has kind of been an area of common denomination for when my base just shoots off the world so when I've repaired it I've always tried to avoid a spot where the block goes under the ground like this especially like this where it's one full block under the ground there's something with the collision is going wrong there. It's telling me that the collision plate is like underneath the block rather than on top of the land. So when you have a line that goes from underneath to on top, the game doesn't really know how to work that out and then you end up losing a block like I've just done there somewhere. I had eight blocks and now I've got six blocks. But you see what I'm saying? It's, it's a strange thing that goes on. And where I built my farm on this world now is a similar situation so I don't know if or how long the defences will last before they pop off again it's a very strange old thing I don't understand it I don't know the computer mechanics of life and stuff but either way it shouldn't be something that's possible I guess Thanks, Lion. I've just got a few bits to work around, various different things to do. But we'll see how it goes. <laughs> the next thing is going to be how we're going to get this up here. You guys are saying I could put it upside down or underneath or something. In which case, we need to move it more towards the center. This base is going to be full of holes, just while we uh, work out what we're trying to do with ourselves. Is it still too long? Here we go. Ah, oh, well that doesn't work. Shameful. Hang on. Uh, but, but maybe it needs to go a little bit further forwards. Nope. Cool. I need to have a look at how much wireless stuff is. Once I get wireless tubes and stuff, I've got a very good plan. But we need some... Oh, dear me. I'm getting myself in a right pickle. I need some level 3 metal, I think. Uh, where are we? Where's the transfer tubes interactive? These transfer tubes, yeah. Oh, boy, that's a lot. Oh, boy. Where's the transfer tube 90? I know you're here somewhere. Maybe you're not. Maybe you are in this one. Or this one. I need two 90s. Of course I do. Actually, we don't. We can just sling him sideways for now. Oh, 
Come on! Do you guys say it works on the underneath? Just can't get it close enough. It doesn't work from the underneath. Um... There we go. So that'll do them just for now anyway. That'll, that'll get it doing a thing. No, David, it's not. Everything works in kind of like, um, what would it be? Like 90 degree kind of shapes. It's either, not shape, what axis is it? Is you got three axis, would you say? Smart people, is it three axis? You've got a, an X and Y and a Z. You can't do diagonals. You've literally just got the three directions. Well, four directions because you can go down as well. But you can't do anything at angles because of how the world is created. The world's created on squares, basically. The suckermatic's a little bit crazy. Did you see it in the video that I was trying... Wow, it's emptied that pretty quick. See it in the video where we were trying to get it to do what I wanted it to do. We were just having a few little bits of problems with it, but we'll see how we go. Um, and where we end up, right? I need to sort out what I'm trying to do because I'm getting a bit flabbergasted. Water cannon. Suspend a water cannon, perhaps? So it shoots from above, spins around a bit. Maybe we might need to go a little bit higher than what we have here. I need to go get some metal. But I think if we suspend the water cannon from the top and maybe have it like flail around a bit while it spits its water everywhere, that might work. I also realised that I've chucked my base. I'll be downy bit. It's not down. Okay, so Mr. Craftbot, do me a button, please. Then we'll sort ourselves out so we can get up and down. Yeah, something like that. You guys understood what I was trying to say. stream I think it was two days ago so the one where we're back at base or yeah not yesterday the one before that I think it was but it's a very long video unless you very kindly timestamp it it's a bit of a lot to search through wait I've got a button in here sausages um Water chest, water chest, water chest, water chest. We needed glue, we went and got a load of glue, cool. Metal, we can do, so this has got to get going. Glue and metal. Metal! I think it's a very... The succomatic thing is great, but it's it's very powerful. And if it's not in a specific place, um, you might end up with a big headache. I need some stairs, don't I? I need some stairs to go up. I can't get to me wardrobe otherwise. be dangerous if I had a memory, you know. 
Right, so we've got a vacuum pump somewhere as well. So we've got a vacuum pump. So that'd be one vacuum pump. That's going to need a switch. One water chest. And one water thing. Then we're going to need a controller. And we've got a bearing. We might need a couple of bearings. How many have we got? We've got one. And let's take a load of the scrap metal as well. Just because right now it's the thing that we're going to be using a lot of. That's stone. Great one. One controller. We only got one controller? I thought we had more than, more than one. Apparently not. There's a big hole here. We'll put this one on here. Labbly jabbly. Right, let's just have a double check. Yeah, but it's expensive, uh, that clam farm. Like, it's all right. Everybody's suggesting this stuff. Like, I've got no issues with it, but I need a lot of a lot of metal, level three. Uh, I don't know about the flying machine. There's currently another bit to the mod in testing. So, once that's been confirmed as being bug free, I might get that. I'll update the mod pack because that will be very handy for flying, actually. It's a gyroscope, which will keep us stable without using too many little flicks and whatever of buttons. So, once I see that the gyroscope is good, I might have a look at upgrading the mod and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, saying that, there's still a lot to be had Uh, what was I trying to say? We need to, yeah, we need to like actually make production of various different materials in the direction that we need to get it, basically. It's water's a long way away. Wait, what's that? David, what are you what are you talking what are you talking about? It reads interesting, but I don't understand what you're saying unless I've missed something. Make the structure above sensor for triggering. Triggering what what are we triggering? Oh, I was still too far away. I suppose we should put this into the ground, right? Else otherwise everything's going to go walking. Lovely. Five by five on water, one water cannon. Ooh. Yeah, the, like again, I agree. The teleporter for the water cannon is great, but I still haven't got the resources to do it. You guys are throwing good ideas out there, but you're not understanding what I'm saying. I'm not using the dev command. Oh, I needed another bearing. I'm not using the dev commands, so I still have to graph the things. Yeah, I do need the other bearing.
Baron. Yeah, shift clicking. Doesn't want to do anything. Strange. Nearly threw ourselves out. Nearly. So, this is going to be where all the fun starts. It needs to come across one more block. More, two more blocks. We can work this out. That's a gap of three, six, eight. Seven, eight. Yeah, one more block. Awesome. And then that should be over the centre of the centre plot, but it's not in the centre of the centre plot that way, is it? Because it needs to be one block across there. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll leave it there. We will leave it there. Let's not worry about that too much. Okay, now the fun starts. Uh, the teleporter takes a lot of metal three, that's for sure. I don't really know how much, but it takes a lot. Uh, cube, it does, I think, but there's some weird way around it from the creator's point of view. Plus, relying on YouTube to automatically... Uh, what do we call it? To automatically do captions for my strange old voice and accent is something that, uh, yeah, be very interesting. So I need this to swing backwards and forwards. Is that going to be able to go in the direction that I want it to go? I need the gun to go further out. It's not, is it? Um, it's not going to work. Because if I go this way, that's great and all, but then that's just going to rotate that way. Oh, this is going to hurt my brain. Somebody smart work this out. Where do I need another a bearing on this to rotate it so that the gun can actually tilt left to right? On the side of it, maybe. Maybe, maybe. So if we're here, and then that's there, then that's there. Okay. So then that will go backwards and forwards, and it will go left and right. Yeah, of course it will. Yeah, I could, but at the same time, I need to farm. Don't get me wrong, like, getting all the metal, great, but I still need basic resources, else I'm going to die from food. I can't loot everything and expect to survive. That button's not being used anymore. We'll just nick this button just to give us a little bit of a test fire. Try and work out the angles now. This is going to be the fun part. water cannon piston thing. I thought I connected this up. Apparently not. Okay. So 30 and 15 is our end one. Alright, hold on. I just gotta get gotta get a physical pen and paper while I take notes. Right. So what we're saying is currently Um Bearing number one. Uh 
and then plot we're going to be doing top right so to get top right plot we need bearing number one on plus 30 and bearing number two on plus 15 awesome so in theory if we come this one to negative 30 Ooh. Ooh. And then I'm guessing, hopefully, if we take this to minus 15. Hey! And then it's plus 30 and minus 15, right? Plus 30. Don't you dare say pop goes the base. That'll get that one over there. Yes, maybe. I mean, we've got another soil, haven't we? So we can put a soil there. Just. It's a little bit high, but it does get it. So then, where should we start? Should we start it at the top right and come down? Ooh, actually, 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 actually. We don't want to do 15 might be too much. Yeah, 15's too much on controller number two. So, what's half of that? Seven and a half. Interesting. Because if I can land this in between two plots... I don't know if that landed between two plots. Yeah, okay. So, that's fine. So, keep that at seven. But then start at... 30 and then blip 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 all the way to minus 30 um, do I have any logic on me no I left it all there so then that'll be a case of all right I'll go get my logic I'll get my logic and we'll get some seeds and we'll see how this goes this should work No, I don't intend on making a Discord. Sorry to say it, but at the moment, it's something I don't really understand or get or whatever, so I'm going to keep away from it. Plus, don't get me wrong, like it's been a fun couple of weeks, but when the new year comes around, my time will be taken up with real life again, so I don't know what my schedule is going to be like, when I'm going to be free and available. I'm not looking forward to it, but reality is that's how life was before this year so it's got to go back to how it was there's no avoiding that i don't think i need the timer um how do i do my little quick repeaters because you only need three logic gates there you go Nope, that's not it. Uh, sort of like that, maybe? Hey, that'll do. Okay, let's maybe start it at that position. And then it'll be minus 60, wouldn't it? Obviously. What a bonehead. It's still moving. Why is it still moving? Ah, oh, because I'm asking it to move plus 7, aren't I? What a... What a nana! Controllers, eh? Who needs them? 
We've got no water. And now we've got no switch to pump up the water. And my character itself is thirsty. It's going well today. Okay, right. So this will be a great way to see if this works. It does work. Okay, so we'll get another switch. We'll see where the water goes. Yeah, I'll put a timer in. I used to use MySpace. And then it went to that other stuff, didn't it? What was the other one after MySpace? It began with B. Ba 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 can't remember what it is, but if somebody knows that, that's that's old. You are old if you know what that is. Oh, we've got food. Jolly good. Yeah, it looks like it. Hang on, what are you guys saying? Where are you? Where are you? Ah, that's not good. I can't help you if you can't uh, work out what you were going to ask, <laughs> think on, whatever else. So we've got loads of water there. What have I come back for? Food. I'm a switch. Another switch. I've got all my metals. Oh, maybe not. Switch. Oh, my brain is frazzled today. We've got a timer. We've got all that. Seeds. 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 Eureka moment for seeds. 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 Timer. Food. Drink. Piston? We can always refine it if it's not right. Um, we need some contraption y things. Some of these. Oh, yeah. The thing is, there, though, I wouldn't. Okay, so I like my vacuum pumps to be on. I could have just ran it off the logic. No, I couldn't. I like my vacuum pumps to just be on all the time. That's why I usually run them off of a separate switch. How's it going, gaming pro? So I'll get a separate switch for... Oh, what am I saying? I'll get a separate switch for the water pumpy thing. And then I'll get a separate stuff for all of this stuff. Which is just having fun at the minute. So at the minute, switch is over there. Cool. Right, my friend. You are not needed. So for our timer, what we're going to be doing is... Something along the lines. Can you hear all the paperwork? It's always good to have something physical to look back to. An and and an or. That's an and, right? Nope. That's an and. So, we go timer, an and, or... Or to the timer, and then we can slow this down. Turn it on. Yay! All right. And then when it gets to the end, the bottom of there, and then we want that to go across minus 15, and then we want it back to go plus 60. Yeah, check us out. We're genii. That'll do. It works. Nice.
Ah, nice to know, gaming. Yeah, we're, we're doing all right. You can't complain. Uh. What I do need to work out, though. Oh, I've got a plan. I've got a cunning plan. Do I have a cunning plan? Will that work? I would like to know if this will turn on when I'm over there. So what we'll do is we'll empty all the water out here and we'll run off. And we're going to go chill at base. And then we'll give it a little bit of a while while we're chilling at base. And we'll come back. We'll see how much water's over there. Just want to see if the water will still work while we're so far away. So we need a little bit of render distance check. But while we're here, what can we do while we're here? I mean, we could upgrade this piston for a start. So that it actually goes to the floor. Ow. There we go. Up. Simple yet effective. Okay, then we've got the other piston that we picked up. What have I done with all of the others? I'm losing my mind. What have I done with all of the others? One. Two. There's one already down at the farm, right? Yeah. I hope. Um, piston upgrades. This needs to be upgraded one more. Cool. So that's piston sorted. Right, we need a lot of logic. Uh, we need more glue. Great. Glue. Glue for logic. So we'll get two more logic blocks at least. Trying to wonder if we can use what we can use because we're going to have to want four triggers. One memory bit wouldn't do it because it wouldn't activate quick enough. I'm pretty sure I don't need four memory bits all sides. I don't literally have zero spuds. I literally have loads of spuds here. That's 200 spuds at least. I don't have any on me, but we do have some for sure. Why have I got all of this tubing? I'm pretty sure something is duplicating somewhere because I didn't build this much tubing. Maybe we did. No, because we've still got all of that underneath, haven't we? Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? We've got all these things. Oh, more lights! Yay! We'll put the lights on the farm as well, just so there's some illuminations. More spuds here. Spuds. Spuds. Glorious spuds. Here we go. Loads of spuds. Where are them chests? These bad boys. It's all glue. It's all glue and metal. Whoop. all glue and metal. So then we run over here and this should be full of water now, right? Give or take. It was completely empty. Yeah, so magic. We might actually have the render distance right so that we're away from the farm enough for this to do what it needs to do. Alright, rock and roll. Forgot a load of scrap metal. We might take a trip back to the spaceship as well at some point because um, I noticed, I was watching somebody, I noticed there's a light at the spaceship that we could use. 
So that'll be handy. So we could go grab that. Let's think about this. Could we set this up in such a way that it has multiple triggers? So if that sets off, it will set that memory bit, which would reset. At the minute, And then we need to adjust this as well. Shouldn't be any more than that. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, it needs to be faster. And obviously the timer needs to be slower as well. Uh, faster rather, not slower. One second. Oh, band on the run. Okay, that's cool. This line comes off. That's why you should always check your working folks. Practical checks. How's it going, David? Welcome back. Hope you're having as much fun as what we're having. One second is just too fast now. We're saying 32, 30 ticks. Let's try 30 ticks. My real life belly is rumbling. 30 ticks is spot on. The warehouse lights are pretty bright, actually. I don't know. I need to get onto a flyer, in all fairness, so that we can actually start exploring, because I don't know where the warehouse are, is, where the warehouses are that we haven't explored yet. I mean, there are going to be loads of them. But I just don't know in which direction. And how far? I've not even got any concrete with me. I've had a bad day with the game of this today. So that's two sides. Two sides and everything. Okay. Hey, how's it going to smash you? Nice to hear you. If I do make a flyer, I don't think I'll use the chemical lifts. I think I'll steal one of Fant's actual planes because he's got a new uh, it's like a new special controller that can work in two directions and he's put a video up you guys have probably seen it actually he did a how to on a basic plane so we'll literally nick that entire idea maybe or go down that road at least to build something like that because that's simple effective works really well so, yeah, it'd be stupid to try and build something a little bit crazy until we understand the basics, because I'm guessing you guys have seen when it comes to flying stuff, me and flying don't mix very well at all. It's not my cup of tea. It's not my forte, as the kids say. Show me a kid that knows forte and I'll be amazed, to be fair. I need to get some food or something. Got the gut rumbles. Ooh. Is this side slightly higher? Have I messed up my count in it again? It's on the eighth one. That's on the eighth one. Okay, but how high is this? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But this little block underneath is slightly higher. Okay, not a problem. I think that should should be plentiful to squash any bot that comes underneath it anyway. We'll just have to wait and see.
Simple reason is flyers are the fastest, most effective way to get around anywhere. It keeps you off the ground. You can see everything from the height. It makes sense to do that. Oh, they would come the sideways, wouldn't they? The, the only area that I've not set up yet. Thank you, guy. Don't have any senses. Oh, you're going to do it, right? You can stop. And that side works. Wonders. Wunderbar. Squish. <laughs> How's it going, Dick? Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, four. Don't mind me. I never miss a shot. How dare you? As the famous man once said, you only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime, yo. Ah, uh, there's no sensor there, you sausage. Um, we think and move this one further out more. I could actually, actually. I was thinking about this. Um, interlace, interlace, inter, intertwangle the corners. So that it's a little bit like this, but I don't know how much of an issue this is actually going to cause me. Probably a lot. Or probably none at all. We'll do that to the corners. That works. He says. Wait a minute. That one should be there. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, fair enough. So did I hit it four times or I hit it three times? Answers on a postcard. Was it four times or three times? Four times or three times? Hang on. How have I confused myself here? That's the short side. Oops. 
Right, that's cool. That works. Um, we'll just have to get some more level 1 metal and then we're good to go. Wait, hang on. What statement am I contradicting? Hang on. Come at me, boys. What you say? What am I contradicting? You're not supposed to look at the video evidence, man. Come on. I barely missed in the warehouse run yesterday. It's got to count for something. You're only supposed to check the footage when I'm right. I've also snooked myself. Or well, maybe not. I can. I can still squeeze through. Cube, it's the uh, muscle memory from all those games, play all those games, all those days playing first-person shooters as a youngster. Somebody rewind the VOD. Rewind it. I want an answer. How many times did I hit him? I'm just going to be running backwards and forwards trying to get metal, so if you guys want to uh, find out what it was. Because you're getting me interested now. I didn't care a minute ago. And now it's a big topic of discussion. So I'm intrigued. Rewind the video and get the evidence. Guy's pushing him. Ah, uh, no, he's exploded him. Oop, lag. That one took three as an experiment. Eh? That guy just sitting around there took three hits. Can confirm. Either I missed one or that Haybot took four hits. Five hits. Boom. Fair enough. At least we know. There's still discussion. I'm going to go with uh, Cube. I like the fact that I just miss. I think that's more realistic. I do usually miss every like second or third shot because I'm walking backwards and wailing away, not hitting anything. Peekaboo! Oh, there's no one here. Yeah. Hmm. 
two up top. Two up top. Ooh, none. Oh, him. Three, four, five. Bazinga. Sounds like it's a cursed tote box. Maybe it'll be one of life's unknown. Like who really shot JFK and who shot JR? How many times did we hit the tote box? Was it three or four? Where's this haybot coming from? Because I can hear him, but... Wait, where did he come from? Oh, that's not a good place. No. Up goes the weasel. So where did those two tape bots come uh, tote uh, brain fade? Hey bots, where did they come from? Because they were below me, but I went up. Where's his leg? Spine. Spinal leg. Hey John, how's it going? Thanks for dropping by. kind of inadvertently hit it four times but one of those times wasn't with the hammer it was in fact with the weird suspension warly thing which ragdolled him doing it that way interesting hey what about that thumbnail someone what, what, what? come at me come at me bro it was the best thing I could think of real quick until I can grab a, a still from the, the game itself I had people to please, you know. There was a lot of people demanding when I went live. I mean, I say demanding. I, I got one person asking me if I was going live, when I would be going live. And I've been running a little bit late today due to drinking problems. Uh, if any of the older guys have seen Airplane, it was that kind of drinking problem. For those who are not old enough to understand that reference, go watch it. It's a funny film. It's an old film, but it's a funny film. I'll be picking them up anyway. There's no more. There's nothing left around here. So I'll be zooming over and once we've worked out what the easiest way down from here is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, that missed. <laughs> nice beaver. Ah, the old ones are amazing. Old films. Just a different level of comedy. <laughs> I know, it was crazy, right? You search long and hard for component kits and then all of a sudden you get three from one place. It's just like... It's an unknown. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it at all. Get ready to up your speed though, guys. I'll give you a pre-warning. Hey John, rumour has it that you've got a collab video potentially soon. Maybe. I'm intrigued. It 
if you do, do you have an idea of when it will be going live? If you do not, don't worry about it. I'm starting to wonder these bearings off of a controller aren't the way forwards. They're just not doing what I wanted it to do. Um, curious what will happen if we put it off the engine. Or if we just don't put it on anything and it just spins out of control wildly. That's interesting, David. The um, the game should have spawned them in as you got closer to the base, so you should have had a full raid. Fifty percent for two, huh? Two gold ones. What? Wait, what? I can't say I've ever seen three types of crate. I've only ever seen... I've only ever seen two types of crate. The gold and the green. Okay, so interestingly enough, a uh, little spinnery... Oh, I was going to say. Yeah. So we've got nothing powering the bearings for the cutter other than bashing into stuff and letting it roll itself around using the collision of the game to calculate what to do and for the most part it seemed to be more efficient than actually having them powered by anything which is kind of interesting fair enough we are stuck That sounds like one heck of a broken bot. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, David. I mean, I like to think that we all knew you weren't trying to be offensive or say anything out of order. It's fine. It's just unfortunate that the H and the G are that close together. cube I just think it's the way that the physics is calculated it's uh, it is what it is ask no questions and just go with it I guess right let's go back to base and do the metal Three of them. How'd I hit all of them and not kill a single one? It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Shame. Thank you. I've got an idea. I've got no idea. We've got a spud gun. I'm not wasting any hammer shit. Et voila. This game exactly. What's awesome is it activates itself due to its own collision against the block that it's touching which makes it even easier to just kind of do. These grinders are smaller grinders. There are bigger grinders available. 
bigger grinders have the reach. They just cost a little bit more. That's all. And I'm stuck on the wall. I need to make this pillar a bit further out if this is where I'm leaving this bot, which is probably not going to be, but... Eh, yay! Okay. Um, what else do we need? We need metal, don't we, still? And we need a couple of sensors. So you got three sizes. So those ones are just one block. And then you've got these ones that are a bit bigger. And then these ones. So this one is a five by five. This one is a three. This one is a five. So what wheels have I got here? Oop. So yeah. So basically the other two sizes. The middle one is the size of this wheel. And the big one is the size of this wheel. So you'll definitely have your reach. I think it's the size of that wheel. That's five, isn't it? One, two, three. Yeah. So the bigger one is that big. The medium one is that big. And the smaller one is this big. Interesting. It's not casting a shadow now. That's strange. <laughs> Bearings are overrated. We're just going to crash into it and spin it around. It works. Glue, that's what we went to get. Or failed to get. And then we needed two sensors, so we do need a lot of glue anyway. I wonder if we've got glue in this. Handbrake turn. Nearly worked. Oop. I'd hope the refine bot costs less than the... Um... I don't know, actually. I don't know if the refiner does cost less. I'll have a look. It should do. Should it? Should it? I mean, you've got to add some balance to those grinders, because don't forget, they are universal, so they will do wood as well as the rocks. So there is a reason that it costs a bit more. Yeah, thanks to Smashy. I liked it better when it was the old location, but the game didn't, so... We moved. Kind of forced moved, but we moved. Either way, it was good. It did want to go for a swim, but I hope we didn't let it go for a swim. Oh, there it is. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. And then we'll have all the glue. Ooh, got full inventory. Let's go back. So he did go for a swim in the end. He decided he wanted to have a little chill on his back. <gasps> Come on, mate. Let's get you out of here. Which way are they going to come from this time? That's good. That's good. They're all coming straight. So hopefully they'll all hit the same part. Or not. That's one going to the corner already. Why are you going to come for me, bro? Oh, these guys are smart. might have to extend the length of the concrete in that case. Yeah, we'll have to bring it out. It should be four. That one is. Why are the others? Uh, three, and that's three. Yeah, so the concrete should be four, just to make sure that they actually get them. Let that be there. Whoop.
So that will get him that way. And then we've got to get this one this way. That's only three there. I thought that one was four as well. Interesting. And they could do like a little pocket or something, like a little inventory slot that you could put a glow stick in. So it'd be like a. What's going on here? It'd be like a little pouch that, like. I don't know how to explain it. It's like your top pocket of your your clothing or something. Make it a craftable item and then jobs are good. And... No, we don't have enough concrete uh, vehicle. Name my vehicle. I don't name my vehicle. It's an inanimate object good enough to go from A to B. Glue clam, glue clam, uh, glue clam diving thingy. What glue clam diving thingy is that? The light's got a shadow on it there. Need to get some lights underneath as well. We need to work out once and for all what we're actually doing with this place so we can just cement in a plan and go for it. Oh, wrong way. Need to put the glue that way. And then just glue, my friend. Just glue. <laughs> Thanks, Decon. It was a bit of a, a bad one. That's fair, Smashy. Yeah, I guess they do want to throw in glow sticks, but also, it gives off light when you hold it, and a lot of the ruins are dark, so you should... I don't know, you should potentially be needing it like this, maybe. I don't know. What do we not need? What do we not need? All of this. Chemicals. Oh, we needed concrete. Concrete? Probably won't need that much concrete, but we'll get it. No, they didn't break it. Uh, I just haven't... Well, I don't think they broke it. They might have done. They can break tier 1 metal, so they might have done. But I think it was just a case of I hadn't filled in all the holes. an issue with collecting the glue from the glue clams but fun has got he's got this glue clam here it's just super expensive I think by the time I get to the point where I can afford that I've probably got all the glue that I need unless I decide to make some radical changes to things but uh, we'll have to see what happens who knows talk with Ori 4 p.m. Crikey. No wonder I'm a bit peckish. So that's four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Cool. So we want a sensor. Yeah, let's get the right way around. Come on. For now, we could just have all these sensors powering all of this, and then all of this powering this. It's not ideal because obviously it means that it's going to all trigger at the same time. I don't want it to all trigger at the same time, it's just as a cost point of view right now, it's the cheapest method.
Unless, how much have I got? Three. Where's the other timer? I've not got a timer. Have I got another timer? One up there. I don't think I've got another timer, which means we're going to need more glue. Ooh. The mod is Fant. It's not let me type. There we go. Just Google, Google, just YouTube his name. And you'll find him. Need some more metal. Yeah, metal, metal, metal. He might have broke that unless I broke that and not realised. I need a metal and I need a timer. Did I not drive down here? No. So I need another timer. The easiest way to uninstall it is just to verify. Because obviously you're going to swap out game files for... Uh, where's... This side. You're going to swap out game files for the mod files the only way to get those files back is to verify it so what you got to do is take the files that you've changed make a backup of them verify your game and then swap the files that you made a backup of back in had concrete there what a sausage I should look I do not have a single bit of metal. Like proper metal. No, I do not. Okay, these chests. What are these chests? Because I need to sort this system out. Where are we? Here we are. It's more glue and more metal. Everything's glue and metal. <laughs> Everything is glue and metal. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Ugh, it's getting dark, guys. It's getting real dark out there. Get some lights on in here. Ooh. I can see what I'm doing. Magic. Um, we might take a trip back to Memory Lane. To the old base. We'll go back to the old base. Or where the old base was because I know there's that like pond there that'll have plenty of clams in it we'll get a load more glue from there we'll just go on a bit of a glue hunt Whee! Whee! so we really like a timer so at least we can do these independently even if it's just like two sides and two sides Rather than having them all trigger at the same time. There's a risk. They're all triggering at the same time. And take it off that side. Ow. Yeah. Great test. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then this side. Is that right? Yeah, that should be fine. Missed. Ha-ha. <laughs> Wait, why didn't this one? I've not hooked it up. Are they all nine? They're all nine. I've got to change that as well, haven't I? Where are you? <gasps> Let this be a lesson. Always give yourself a way in. Rather than doing it the hard yards. Squishy, squishy. I just... no, that's okay. It's too quick for me to get two swings in. Anyway, right. So we're getting hungry as ourselves. Eat the last melon. Wait, what's he asking? 
Snow Runner. Snow Runner is awesome, I think. Never played it. Played Spin Tires. Really enjoyed Spin Tires, actually. I think it's the fact that it's a different game in terms of what it offers. Didn't know what to expect. Never seen it. Never played it before. Downloaded the game on Xbox. Really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed Spin Tires, actually. Snow Runner has interested me, but at the same time, uh, it kind of feels like it's the same thing, just different vehicles, which I don't know if that appealed to me, but I'd pick Snow Runner if I had it right now. Whee! Mind you, hmm, would I? Probably not. Yeah, you got it, Cube. You got it. What uh, what lift thing did he make? What does it look like? Have you got it on any of the videos on your channel? Whoa, lag. I have to drop across again. Catch up. GTA 5. you got to give it credit to him. Because that game... Let's just be real about GTA 5, right? GTA 5 came out on the original consoles at the time, which was the, what was it? The original Xbox 360? And what would it be? PS3? And then it went out on Xbox One and PS4. GTA 5 has probably been one of the longest lasting games in terms of generations of console. If you're being honest, because people still play it. And GTA 5 still pulls in an audience on streams and stuff like that. There's not many other games that have had the same amount of replayability or interaction as GTA 5 has across two levels of console. Now, I don't know what it's like for the new gen, like the current uh, new gen, new generation of consoles in terms of the Xbox Super One X Home Edition or whatever it's called nowadays and the PS5. But credit where it's due to Rockstar on GTA 5, you know. I think they, they must have really made a lot of money on the microtransactions on that game. GTA 6, depends where you look to whether or not that's a thing. I imagine they will be, but... Oh, nice one. I'll have a look-see. Just going to copy that link. But, honestly, GTA 5 has arguably stood the test of time. Let's get out of here after we've got that last clamp. Where's my car? Where's my car? Where is my car? Where did I crash it over there? That was strange. That felt like I was running. Maybe not. Thing is, Smashy, okay, right. Um, I was watching a podcast with Courage. Uh, Courage is a big, he's signed to YouTube. He's a YouTube streamer, he's signed to YouTube. And 
basically the podcaster asked him the similar thing like why do you play the games that just go rather than playing the small games and unfortunately when you get to a particular level you've got to understand that this this is how these guys make a living So in order for them to make a living, they have to follow the crowd and they have to go where all the audience are at. Uh, the smaller games, obviously, and honestly, don't bring in the audience that the bigger AAA titles do. Uh, Courage himself said that he wishes he was able just to play any game he liked. But unfortunately, to earn the money to make a living, he has to play the games that people want. And sometimes that sees you playing games you don't necessarily want to play all the time, but it is what it is. I found it very interesting because it carried on going to say that if you become even bigger, thanks Cube, I, I hope you noticed it. But yeah, basically if you become a really, really big personality and people support you for your personality rather than the game that you play, you kind of then go that one extra step where you can play any game that you want to play and your audience will continue to watch you regardless. If you look, a lot of a lot of well-known streamers will all play Call of Duty, Apex Legends, that kind of stuff. But a lot of the really, really big supported people will play whatever they want and they'll still bring in an audience. That's pretty much these exact words as well. That's exactly it, like what Jonathan's saying as well. Like, if you if you make a living on one game, this is something that I'm a bit aware of as well, because my my audience, you guys, you've all come from Scrap Mechanic content. I do not see myself playing Scrap Mechanic forever and a day. Just simply, sooner or later, everything's going to burn out. Be it I burn out, be it the content burns out. You know, it's just going to hit a wall. I honestly do not know how Han, Scrapman, even Squiddy managed to get as much out of the game as what they did. Scrapman especially. This is bread and butter. The guy update, uh, uploaded every day for like six, eight months. Fair play to him. But they've made it work for them. It all depends on you as an individual and everything around you. I enjoy this game more, strangely enough, now that there's an audience that I can interact with than I did when I just played it on my own. I get more enjoyment and playtime out of it when there's communication to be had and input from everybody else. Don't want to sound like one of those kind of guys, but I, ideally, in the perfect world, I'd like to build a channel around me as a person slash personality rather than a game. I don't know. We'll see what happens. For now, I'm happy playing Scrap Mechanic. Be interested to see where the next... There was always a hole there, that's okay. Be interested to see where the next chapter goes. Who knows? And dare I say it, cube, but I would uh, assume potentially the wrong word. But maybe the support for the game will determine that you won't be able to play it for the next 40 years. Maybe. I'm willing to be wrong. So is that still going to be? It is. And then this one also goes to this one. Just so we've got the corners operating independently. And I need a timer as well, don't I? Silly. Billy, that's why we went and got it. Timer on. Thirty ticks. Thirty ticks. 
Squish, and now we wait. Actually, we don't need to wait. We're going to get raided regardless, aren't we? Yeah, so we can harvest all of this. And, alright, so, will this work? It does work. Just need to turn that down a bit. Or up a bit. Uh, okay, so at least it does water every plot. And then we just got to look at how we're going to harvest it and grow it. Ooh, I don't have enough seeds. I do. Great one. Great one. There we go. You'd hope your tape pot aim would be on point by then. I noticed, uh, I had a look through the files yesterday after the live stream, I noticed that they've got like a projectile speed or something as well for the tape, it's crazy. You could be 80 still playing Scrap Mechanic, why not? I'm going to have a look now, David, scrolling up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> about the uh, Nintendo consoles. I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed both the N64 and the GameCube. The GameCube is such an underrated console. It really is. Whoa. As for the X... Uh, not the Xbox. What is it? N64 controller... The N64 controller, pretty sure, started to change the direction of all the other controllers. Because when the N64 controller came out, that's when you started to get all your analogs and whatever they called it for the PlayStation. Stuff like that. Ooh, that's a bit dangerous, leaving a car out there. Okay, so that works. Is he too... Okay, so still not going to get him. Everybody else is gone. It's just this guy over here. Interesting. Is that because it's too low for him to walk under? Might be too low. Oh dear. Whoop. Interesting. Okay, so you will walk under it, you just... Interesting, doesn't want to. Maybe I will hire it up by one. <laughs> I'll bring it up. One more piece. I'll probably bring it out. Uh, out's fine, I'll just bring it up one more. Wait, yeah. Um, 
might as well reconnect these off as we go, so we're only gonna forget and then we'll in wondering why. Ooh, why am I getting attacked with this? Yeah, I'll do. Ow. Fantastic. It's just this one's going to be a problem because this is already at its length. So it might be a bit of a, a tricky deal. Maybe they are damaging the metal as well. I know it's got a couple more holes. They should still attack it. They should still attack it. They've been attacking it everywhere else, so I don't know why today it seems to be different for them. They're just pesky little critters. Yeah, I did take that from the right place. How is this one going to work? That still might be alright, actually. That should be fine. Water's good, weather's good, defences they exist at least. Cordio. Thanks for dropping by though, Nick. You take it easy and have a good day. Or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Right, so farm kind of works happy with the farm this place this place needs a whole new revamp I mean, we're just unsure about what we're going to be doing with it or how we're going to be doing it we're still good for chemicals maybe we should throw some more concrete out here what do we need chemicals for other than concrete anything Where are them chests? These guys. Right, so they now have two ports in and out, don't they? What's the limit on this floor? There. Why turn this thing the long way? Is that going to foul on the floor? No, it's not, is it? Ah, lovely. Okay, cool. Moving in the right direction. <laughs> and then, what we can do... Right, so these all have an extra tube out the back. So we might need to nudge the base across one or two blocks. So that we can put a storage system around. I don't understand or know where I'm going to put it yet. Difficult. Maybe we don't need... Uh... I need to access it wherever we put it. So do we go up a store? Do we put the storage on top of this? And loop it around it. So everything comes into the big chest. Storage goes into the little chest. 
And then we have the refinery underneath somewhere in the middle. I just can't have any visualizations in my brain of how I want this to look. Because it's just going to be a lot of chests. And I don't know how that would work. Because obviously I want to be able to access all the chests. And a smart chest would be really helpful. This guy's a big old filter anyway. But he's great for taking the input. Hmm. You could be onto something. You could be onto something. I'm not going to lie though, I don't like how this pokes through the floor. It's been kind of irritating me unnecessarily for a long time. I would like it to be level with the floor. But in order to do that, that's a lot of pipe work and a lot of unnecessary bends just to make a visual better. The other thing I'm thinking... So this guy is what we're going to be using for our main like storage incoming pipey thing. So if I put a 90 on this and connected this up this way, which isn't going to let me because that's going to foul. Ooh. Then this bad boy can sit down here and come off of this. Boom, 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 boom. Which makes it a little bit easier. Because right now I could just loop that back round into the side of this. And then also if we have this faces this way so we can see the storage. I mean, that could see us through for now. It's not pretty, but it's an honest day's work, right? I don't particularly mind it sticking through the floor like that, if it's going to stick through the floor at all. <laughs> I mean, right now that solved us a few problems, that's for sure. And then we're out the way of the lift as well, right? Yeah, we're out the way of the lift. I mean, just, but we're out the way. Because then, what the brain is thinking, which is always a risk... Um, that I could then loop this side down and round. Uh, now it's turned, so it'd be a little bit tricky. But you know what I'm saying. We'll come out one way or the other, and then we can link it back up into this. For now, while we don't have any many storage. It kind of it keeps it in one loop without being too tricky. I mean, it doesn't look fantastic, but it is what it is, as they say. We have any stone? Of course, we've got loads of stone all through here now. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. What about the other alternative? What about if this is halfway up? 
Oh, let's put it down properly. Oh, we can't. Okay. So instead of it being all the way through the floor, what happens if it's that way so that we can access half the top and half the bottom, which is then going to be inconvenient for this? No. We might get away with that. And then do that way. Elevator will be blocked now, I imagine. Yeah, elevator's blocked now. Blunk. Yeah. That's annoying. Unless you put it that way. Will that still block the elevator? Because we should be able to move over a little bit now. And it's further back. So the elevator might miss that. I mean, it's tight. It's tight, but that is literally where it's going to fit. No worries, Jonathan. You take Evie has and have a good day. Evie? Yeah, you take it easy and have a good day. Thanks for dropping by. Really appreciate it. Looking forward to your next videos. You can see that's going to irritate me as well now. So maybe we were better off before. Having it through the floor and just reaching it from the top seemed to work better. This only has one thing, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay, that's kind of slightly irritating. Maybe we're thinking about this in a very awkward way. Because this can have a six-way tube on it. Maybe? I don't know. Oh, geez, nice. Cheers, Smashy. Keeping tabs on those times. I'm going to throw you guys another ad. How's it going, Mr. Boss? Well, that floor's not supposed to be continued, to be fair. He's supposed to have, like, a, this glass surround around him. So he's actually supposed to be free. Oh, dear. We'll just uh, pen him in a bit there. Is that alright? Yeah, there's no collision there. So that's... Did I drop that block? That's what he's supposed to be looking like. Woo. So that he's actually alright to pop through. I need to get me a stairway. Something. Should be just jumping up on there. Come on, I've got enough glass for that. Which then means we can move where the wall is for the windows. The windows to the wall. View in platform only. Yeah, there we go. So it's kind of like that.
Okay, we'll just use the lump for the large chest to save on pipe lump. Ooh, that's an option. Let's have a look, see how that will sit then. So, um, I can't see over the shoulder that I need to see from. Yeah, so it has to go there. Just so that the right angles will all fit. Because obviously if I come across one more, you will not make the bend. Is that right? Oh, might be. Might be. That's more in line with that. So where does this now sit in terms of this side? That might work. And then we can at the minute dangle this guy underneath. Hey, hey. I think you got it, Cube. I think you got it. I think you've got it. The pillar's going to be in the way of backing up, but... Oh, it's not. Magic. I think you got it. Yeah, I'm liking that. I think that'll be the way forwards, actually. What am I stuck on my light? Get rid of this. Plunk that down there. And then we can put this piece in this gap here. This piece in this gap here. Will it fit? Man from Del Monte says yes. Awesome. Now we've got, actually got walls around the base as well. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Um... One of these is glass, and we don't have any glass. We can recycle this though, right? So that should give us all the parts for that. Don't have any paint. Crumbs, chief. Hang on a minute. There's a reason why I wanted to get to that. But I won't need to get to that once we've got storage system all sorted up. Well, the storage will be up here. So, six-way tube there. And then build backwards. Do, 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 do. What else do I need for the tube in? Circuit boards. Okay. Six way tube. Two honey and. Was it two honey and one component kit? Okay. One component kit. Two honey. Okay. So we can go in here and we can build this. You'll be here till you leave. So, Mr. Boss, my shorts usually take about a week, three days to a week before they start to pick up. But it also, I have found it depends on the rest of your channel as well. So, as long as the rest of your stuff is kind of in line with your scrap mechanic content, then it should touch woods get traction the only thing is with a short it'll you'll probably get an hour where you'll get really good views and then you'll probably get no views ever again on that that's basically how shorts have worked for me so far you get a lot of hits in one go and then you'll get nothing at all for a very long time it's just the way that the cookie crumbles they're a strange old thing and youtube's still trying to work them out floor is made of floor. We hope so.
This takes a while to build, doesn't it? Collection. Right. So then this bad boy can go here. But I still need the 90, though. Five tier two metal. I bet we don't have any in here, do we? I bet we don't. Oh, of course we don't. Why would we? Ooh, water and amber. Amber, water. Level 1 metal. Do I not have any level 1? What do I do with all that level 1 metal? Did I use it all? I put it all away, didn't I? I did put it all away. Eh. Eh. So then we can build some of that. Then all of this can go in here. Like so. Oh, wait, thank you. Ah, oh, you sausage. No, wait, what are we trying to build? A 90. Circuit boards. Glass as well? No, got glass. Circuit boards. Circuit boards. I'm going to need two 90s. Joe 90. That's the joys with using mods. Wine hunting. Wait, what? No, what? Glass. That's what I was looking for. Glass, 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 glass. There we go. Kids, don't drink too much coffee. It really makes your brain go squishy. In fact, adults do. <laughs> Right, that works that way. Ooh, this I'm ha <laughs> ah, the hilarity. I'm gonna need why don't I just not do that and just come straight out of there? Where's that gonna land is this side? Sure, we have to face the property a little bit, but you know, it's all good. It could be made of floor poses blocks, it's just difficult to tell. It would do this, wasn't it? It would do this. We're going to need the smallest little connection there, and then the smallest little connection there. But I recycled the other straight piece because I was pretty sure I didn't need it. Oh, I've got it. Ah, never mind. La da 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 da. Radio folks and folkettes, we are kind of in the direction that we sort of want to be, maybe kind of almost. Then in. Here. Block. Get this bad boy block out. Now get in there. Get in, get in there. Make the rest of the floor floor and we'll be good apart from right now though we shouldn't do that because we need to get to that underneath there until we get all the chest system sorted and then we're going to need a lot of chests i guess does anybody know how many items there are in the game just curious um simply because I imagine I'm going to have to make enough of these storage chests for every possible item. Oh boy.
<laughs> Achievement unlocked loop craft book. Yeah. Yeah. So, then the next question is storage. What do we do for storage? Can we get to the filter from the front, depending on where we click it? No. So it does have to be that way up in order for us to get to the thing. And then I guess I'm just going to need... I could loop them at the back. I don't know. But yeah, we'll sort of do a way that we can stack a load of these on top of them. Uh, this far. That button really shouldn't have to go down with that lift. We should leave that one up here. I don't know. But yeah, so we'll see how we can work this. Storage-wise, run that across there, do that. Wait, did I get raided last night? I did get raided last night. Awesome. Well, base defenses worked on their own. Me not paying attention. We should look at how we automatically go about dealing with all this stuff as well. Awesome. Awesome. So I'm pretty happy with the farm, again. And we're kind of going in the right direction for the base, again. It's not finished by any means, but we're kind of going in the right direction. Storage is going to be an interesting one. In fact, what happens if I just connect a switch up to all of this stuff? Because I know this usually pulls everything in that you put in the filter. But if it's got nothing in the filter, will it just grab stuff? Okay, so it'll only pull what we ask it to filter, which might work to us. Aha! Awesome, I found a kind of neat little trick that we can just new, uh, just nick for now, just to split up some of the resources that we've got. Yeah. So I can use this chest for all the blocks. Item storage. Uh, ha, ha, yes, sausage. Make sure you turn it off. Right, there we go. And then change the filter. To stone. And then that'll pull all stone. We've got a lot of stone. We have a lot of stone. Okay, uh, we'll do concrete. Oh boy. Cardboard, we'll do metal level one. I'm surprised this works. Wait, 
Did it get any cardboard? It did. There's no level one metal. There's a surprise. I think there we go. Wood, cardboard. Doop doop doo. Doop doop doo. The developers are Axolot, as well as Axolot being the publisher this time around, yes. my group similar items. One container for stone related stuff. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. I thought Red Beat had something to do with Raft. Were Red Beat not the creators or whatever you call it of Raft? I could be way off the mark there, I'm not gonna lie. We don't have much glass. What do they do with that metal? Glass is non-existent. Corn. Let's get some corn in here. Oh, I shouldn't have put the beetroot in there. It's fine. My my, what a lot of metal, uh, stone we have. Seeds have their own special place, I don't know why the seeds are in there anyway. Looking good. I think, actually, um, if an axolot looks like what I think it looks, which it probably won't, one of the artists for the actual game of Scrap Mechanic has made an Axolot creature. We've got no more anything anyway, have we? No. Let me just turn off for now, my friend. We're going to need some more storage. We're going to need a bigger boat. Fire in the hole! Water. <laughs> what the heck? Are you alright, David? Let's be honest, right now we can just bump everything else in here. What do we never need anything of? Sand we'll try and pull out. Concrete is the max that we've got all the concrete. We'll try for some sand. I don't think we've got much sand either. And then we'll get the metal out. We'll try and get all the blocks out of this and put them in the chests. So every block we see, we need at least one of. Let's 
Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We should be going somewhere slowly, but we'll be going somewhere. Seeds, juice, that, that. Cool. I do apologise, we're slow and steady right now. It's, it's a long and boring process sorting through all this rubbish. I appreciate everyone just chilling, hanging around, freaking yourselves out with your own conversations. Genuinely really appreciate it. Good talk. Oh, I needed that stuff. Cool. So that's happy, that's empty, that's full, GG. Is that Axelot's channel, someone? Oh no, it's the bug. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'll see if I can find this guy on Twitter. Um, I don't know where I'd find him. Ooh. My Twitter has ended, entered into light mode. It's horrible. Do I put it in dark mode? Alright, where is this guy? Where is this guy? Is it him? See the 3D man? Oh, kind of. I mean... Maybe it's not what I thought it was. So this is what one of the scrap mechanic guys. So I'm just going to put a link in chat. You'll probably get the link before you see this. But this link that I've just sent you through is what one of the scrap mechanic artists made. Strange little being. Ooh, we got a little chime. What's the little chime for? <gasps> a subscription. Ooh, thanks for the subscription. Right. Sorry, got distracted trying to find that link. His page, like, he's got some really interesting stuff on there. It looks like they've been working on a potential few new textures as well, which I'm guessing we might see in world number two, or chapter two even. Not world two, but you know what I mean. So it was interesting to see some of the stuff that they pulled out, or made, however you want to look at it. Why have I got a wooden crate in here? It could just be anywhere. Right, there we go. Get rid of all this rubbish. Um, I need somewhere for potatoes. Just stack them up in the corner. Just get rid of them that way. It's my ammo storage. Less than ideal, but here it is. When I'm looking for potatoes, somebody remind me that they're over there. Glowworms aren't real, though. Axolot things are. Wait. That's half true. Some glowworms are real.
But you might be right though, David. There must be some way... The plasma drill's got to be done differently somehow. It just... I just can't see them introducing something like that and then not bringing some sort of object with it to give us ways and means of doing stuff. Just, that's me personally, like... So I feel that there's going to be an introduction. There has to be an introduction of something, surely. 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 But as for what it is, I um, don't know. Don't know what it could be. Don't know what it would be. Oh, why have we got seeds in here? Probably because there's no room left in the vending machines, right? Oh yeah, carrot seeds. Wireless pallet, 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 pallet. Maybe we can pull those out for a minute. Like, let's pull all this stuff out that can hang up as well. Here we go. Right. I was supposed to put this wood in here. Mon dieu, mes amis. What are we doing with ourselves? It's a very good question. Just chuck this stuff up here. I guess it out of the way more than anything else. I will be genuinely interested to see how the stuff goes. And touch wood, luckily for me, being European or in Europe, and with Axlot being in Europe. I might be able to get onto that stuff as long as they release it on a day that I'm not at work at a time that's really, really beneficial. Us Europeans could sneak onto that axe a lot stuff real quick and get a glimpse of it and then be able to throw out all the videos and be like giving you guys a heads up whatever it is. I appreciate it, the Smashy, honestly. You don't have to tell me you're still here. Ooh, another trophy truck. Nice. Another implies you've already got one. How many trophy trucks does one man need, surely? Uh, we were going through this for seeds, weren't we? We get these out here as well. And why have I got toilet roll? Literally doesn't do a purpose on this game. Might as well keep part of it. 2020 vibes. The <laughs> seat as well. And what we could do, right? We'll get rid of the seat on here. Where's the chair there? That's that sorted. That's like that way. What else are we looking for? When I'm feeling glue. Awesome. The rest is kind of as it is. That's that's not the worst. It's not the end of the world. So we'll need a few. Oh, we saw some scrap metal. There, there we go. Okay. I mean, to be fair, I don't think I'd last longer than 10 minutes in my own stream at Doom Edit. Uh, no, David. I can't say I even know what half those words are talking about, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Recycle? What are we recycling? It's 
So I'm also fast learning that the delay isn't just because you guys get an ad. It's also... I can change the latency, my side of it, to like really interactive latency. But it just means that the quality will be even naffer than it already is. Right, uh, we've got these big green awnings. Throw these outside. Get this. Whoa, interesting. Now I can't get up there. No. We sneak a gap, sneak a gap, sniping style. All right, we need some stone as well. We'll get rid of some stone for the outside. Finish off this line here. Ce soir. Nice. Raid coming. What's the timer? No, it's already been and gone. Okay. That needs to be a little bit quicker now. I didn't realize it's a level 5 piston. Though. Stairs. Let's build some stairs. It's going to back me straight into all of that stuff. Ah, I've not got enough stone. Surprise, surprise, out of all of the stone that we do have. No, don't be like that. Don't. Go down. There we go. Let me just pull off of that one. Oops. Oops. Pull off of that one. And finally... Sorted. Right, now we can go up and down and left and right and all over the shop. Oh, I forgot about my toilet. Just chilling on the wall. Yay! Right, do we have any normal wood? We do have some normal wood, it's cool. Fill in the hole. Work out what we're doing with the recycle bot, auto craft or whatever you want to call it later. Zip that up, nice. Um, maybe we can go over one more. So I can bash my head on the side and that'll be up there. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sorted. I think this can come out a little bit though. Is that that might be the maximum? Any more than that? Yeah. We got lucky there. But that is ultimately as I smash into everywhere it. Cool. Recycle the toilet. I don't know if I can recycle the toilet paper, actually. I don't know what it'll recycle into. Does it recycle into block? <laughs> it recycles into... Why is the toilet paper even something you can recycle? Don't have any paint. Can I reach the craft bot thingy? Good shout on the recycled. <laughs> You are bored, aren't you, David? 
Oh, bless you for staying around. Right, go check on the farm, see what happened to the raid. We won, by the looks of this, we won the raid. I might leave this, you know, see how far it gets. The only issue is there's no way for them. Hmm. We can plant some fire seeds. And we're full. Lovely. Oh, come on. Let me get rid of these things. They're not doing anything but getting in the way for now. We just chuck these things out in the open somewhere. I mean, do we care if they get destroyed? Probably not. This is my creative side coming out right now. Don't hate me if you hate me. for super spastic yeah there we go let's cut this space this on a timer. I think you're right about putting it on a, uh, <coughs> a memory circuit. Ooh, tricky. Okay. And then what we can do, when we can afford the wireless item transfer Chewy stuff, We'll be able to send all of the seeds and produce. Produce especially, but maybe not seeds. We'll be able to yeet all that stuff back here. Why would they be mad about you? What are you doing? Do I only have three toilet rolls? I must have had more than three toilet rolls, surely. Surely. Maybe not. Um, what else can we recycle? Let's hope our heads. Aha. Ha ha. No materials. Oh, does that not pick up? I would have thought that picked up in there, right? Because there's a load of tape heads in there. Unless. What am I thinking? Did it get all the, the loo roll? It did get all the loo roll. Hmm. Ah, the old discussion of uh, a roll. Is a roll, when is a roll not a roll? When it's a burger bun. I could make an entrance that's not an entrance, that's a patio balcony, you're right. Whoop. I mean, it's got a nice view to it, so there's no reason why we can't. 
Um, I would like to know why this doesn't want to recycle these heads, though. Not a problem. Ultimately, this stuff doesn't want to stay there anyway. It's, uh... There we go. Why did I take that stuff out? That could have stayed in there. No, I do want to recycle that, don't I? Do I? No, circuit boards are easy enough to come by. That's fine. We'll just set that on to repeat. We don't need any tote bot heads. They don't do anything other than make a noise. So that's fine. We can live with that. Seedlings. Seedlings. I'm also feeling that maybe these places should be made for fruit and veg and not seeds because we're going to get a ridiculous amount of seeds. Unless I start using fertilizer. You could use your fertilizer. At least then we've got a reason to craft the seeds. Mm, maybe. Ah, thanks, Cube. That's worth knowing. Makes sense. Does make sense, to be fair. I mean, it's going to give you both uh, circuit boards and component kits as well, so it would be a little bit crazy. That's reasonable. I do have a question, and I'm not sure how I could look at it without breaking everything. But maybe you know, Cube. Maybe you know. If I put one of these filter containers first, so I did. Out of the main system, I went filter, filter container, then a large chest. Would the large chest act as an overflow to the filter container? No, it wouldn't, would it? No, of course it wouldn't. Don't worry. Never mind. That's the main question. How many have you got to make? Surely you should be done by now. Now he's done. Ooh. Ooh, he's candy. Hmm. Is there not a space between the sign up here? Yeah, makes sense. You shouldn't have made it so OP. This light can come inside, and so can this one. Or maybe we could put them underneath. Maybe we could put them underneath. We need some sort of lighting under here. There's me spray. Paint gun. Move this one over here. Turn it up. Paint it blue because why not? Oh, it was a different color blue. It was a different shade. And then we got this light for whatever we need for this light. But we're looking alright so far. Oh, we've got all these out here as well. Oh! Oh, Betty. I forgot about these random stairs that we built so that we could get off the vehicles as well. I struggle going up and down stairs. Just going to throw that out there. That light should be good enough. Right, okay. Hey, Mandy. How's it going? Yeah, no, Spastic, that's understandable. I realised as soon as I said it, I realised what I was saying. It's just one of those brief lapses of concentration and a hope that you could do it with ease that way, but no. Yeah, I understand. Let's go to the left hand side, left hand side, left hand, right hand side, left hand side, right hand side. Who's counting? Uh, 
Ba 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 Let's all wait for the spastic cube to catch up before we say anything intelligent or otherwise. Always got to wait for the old folk, haven't we? Eh? Sorted. That works. I think we'll get rid of the trees that are around us as well. And in doing so, we'll hopefully allow us to see if wrapping ourselves around that craft pot works. Fine, but even not craft pot. Come on, Jeez. there we go. Interesting. There we go, catch it. Hey, rooster. So POG, P-O-G, is play of the game. And streamers have just kind of took it and run with it. Poggers! You weren't supposed to hear that. You were supposed to still be at uh, 1.24 speed or whatever, 2.5 speed even. We're supposed to be swept under the speed of the conversation. But I'll let it slide. You unintentionally heard it, it's fine. You know, it's funny. It's funny when we do this, though. Stuck. Fantastic! Right. So the defences work. The base or farm or something you can just call it her. Uh... <laughs> I'll have to say it faster naturally next time so it just kind of ends up a blur. Ready ho. Right, so now we're gonna wrap ourselves around this dangly bit and hope for the best. Oh dear, oh dear. I think we need to get some sort of suspension on the front, mate. Oh mind you, it manages. Ooh. We've just gotta hope that it does actually get both sides. Okay, so it gets that side. That's good. And it gets that side. Yes! Boys and girls, we are good. <laughs> David, if that's the only thing that doesn't make sense in this game, you've done well. But now we've got a clear line of sight to the farm anyway. One way or another. Fact. We're going to move all this over. Mind you, look. Mm. My brain hurts. I'm trying to think too hard. Not what I've been designed to do. This guy knows. His scrap mechanic. What do you expect? Found the radio. I forgot where I put. If the devs did that, I think people would stop playing the game because it would soon get really frustrating. Just my opinion. Doesn't count for anything. Don't hurt me. I 
and then we'll have this light and it'll be like a bat symbol into the sky maybe okay cool right look at all these goodies that we have I've either got to do a lot of interactive chests which we can do now uh, no we can't because we're still short on metal Yeah, that's true. If a bot tags your base and you lose all that good stuff. Oh boy. Unless if I run... Do you think I can fit... Do you think I can fit a six-way pipe at the back? Or even, it'd be a 90 and then a 6-way. We do not have the materials to do that. Okay, so we're going to be short of metal. Always metal. Always the metal. Let's get in a buggy. We'll go for a drive. We'll go beat up something over. Let's take this one. This is the one that can carry the legs. And we'll go to the house over here or building over here whatever you want to call it uh yeah we are kind of near the end i've been hinting towards ending for the last half an hour i think i just keep coming back to one last thing one last thing one last thing um but just to catch you up honestly we moved the base yesterday because it kept on being a bit hectic for us we spent I don't know, probably two hours trying to decide how we wanted the craft bot to look. Uh, we've kind of put the defences around the farm. We've got water to the farm. Uh, we've got a very temporary storage system set up. It's been an interesting three I don't know how it spent three hours doing that, but we have. So, it is what it is. I appreciate you dropping by, though. I should do a stream... At a better time scale for you Australians. Unfortunately, when I do decide to stream, it's too early in the morning for Australians and the Americans are just getting awake. So it benefits those, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depends on how you look at it. Most UK people will try and suit an American audience just because it's the biggest speaking English nation out there. What a stinker. How's it going? Man, you don't have to do that, but I really appreciate it. Cheers, Cherry. That's kind of you. I tried sleeping once. It didn't really work out too well. We have a field. In a field, there should be plenty of hay bots. Ooh la la. I realised the other day that I should try and get my sleeping pattern back before the new year starts uh, and then realised that halfway through trying to attempt that it's going to be New Year's Eve and New Year's Day anyway. I do not have a Discord, no. Uh, like I tell many other people, it's I, I wouldn't know what I'd do with it, in all fairness. Um, because even the Discords that I do visit now, I, I rarely go to. So to have my own, I just feel it'd be a bunch of, I say fans, I don't know if fans are the right word, it kind of makes me cringe saying that because I just see myself as just some guy, but it'd be a bunch of supportive people to my content, sat in a Discord server, talking amongst yourselves, and from a personal point of view, I think you guys could be doing something much better with your time rather than just sitting and chilling on behalf of me like I appreciate it don't get me wrong but I'm still it's still a strange world for me right now with all this content creation holy moly with all this content creation world it's a new strange world for me I got rid of all my potatoes I could have done with oh nuts at least the haybot came with me
<laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that high, and then I'd already made my mistake before it was too late. It's all good. We'll take the spud gun. It's not too far away from base either, thankfully. Oh, maybe it is a little bit further than I thought. Oh no, it's all right. Of course the panic. When you turn around and see, like, whatever it was, four or five guys stood at the doorway with their straw forks in hand. It's not the sort of thing you just act casual around. If you've come for a stream for perfection, you've come to the wrong place. I'm just going to say that now, right? We like to make mistakes. This is just the way the world goes. We play games like real life will treat you. Only with respawns. You can go off people, Cube. You know that? You can really go off people. Garrett, it doesn't count. It's a different day. It's like a whole new day. You counter restarted at night. We've been working on the railroads. I blame all this crop. If that didn't get in the way, I'd have seen what was happening. We'd have killed him easier. Oh, you can shoot through this. I didn't expect to be able to shoot through it, not gonna lie. Whee! Somebody else around somewhere, making a lot of noise. I wish this had like directional sound. Make it a lot easier to work out where they were. Doesn't count. Mattel. Get out of here. Right, do we have food on us? Uh, blueberries, that'll do us. read this because it sounds interesting what David said. It's a wok steak. That's fine. In all fairness, David, I think they need to kind of work on a lot before they add any more to the game. And then once they've got the game in a position that like the basic stuff works, then by all means look at the aerodynamics and all that kind of stuff but I think a lot of players would just want the basic game to just work but it would be good but then isn't what's the other one not trail makers there's another one it's like trail makers it's made by team 17 yeah that was pretty cool main assembly I like main assembly but that's really complicated for my little brain when it comes to all the sort of logic based stuff that's actual logic based stuff the thing is as well in all fairness they have in one of their old dev blogs one day I decided to really bored I had a look at look through all their old dev blogs so in one of their really old dev blogs they have scalable and draggable wedges and stuff so you could have a scalable block as well as a draggable block you know like when you place blocks now especially draggable stuff they had that for like wedges and all sorts of stuff but they also had a, a way to scale things which was really interesting so maybe there is oh hello maybe in the pipe work or pipelines whatever the words is there potentially is draggable stuff scalable stuff i guess we just have to wait and see what the guys are working on see what comes out of it as much as we sit here and wish that they could drop updates and stuff we don't actually know what they're working on and i'm as guilty as anybody else's bashing them isn't necessarily well it's definitely not the nicest thing or the right way of going about things you should appreciate that we do have some sort of game 
I think that anger and the hate comes from the fact that it took four years to get to survival. And survival is kind of broke in a lot of ways. And the thing that annoys people like Fan is that survival is built how it's built. It's separate again from all the existing stuff. Like built survival from the ground up, which makes the challenge mode built from the ground up as well. And creative is it's all three different things. Why do they need three different things? They should have been able to work one game engine to deliver you the three different modes. I don't know. Has anybody seen this stuff before? Like a splattered rock. I was watching somebody stream and I noticed that this was also on this, um, the rocks out to sea. It's like some sort of moss maybe, something like that. But I've never seen it before and I didn't see it until that stream that I was watching. Strange old stuff. I just want my base to stay on the ground. You're right there. Where I build it, I would like it to remain. Which is a shame because it's moved to a better slash worse location. I'm not a fan so much, but it's a little bit more to it. I don't know. You guys seem all right with it. <laughs> Do you imagine? Imagine where this game could be with that guy. In. Like not just Fant though, like the whole of the modern community. Because there's a lot of guys that help Fant out with various different things, as well as him doing a lot of his own stuff. It's crazy world. Crazy, crazy world. Oh, here we go again. That nah, we're good. We're good. And Cherry, the update could be a big conspiracy, you know. If it took them four years to get to arguably, let's call it chapter one, which is what we've got now in survival. That took four years. And they say they've been working on it since they released survival. Uh, it took them four months to get the, um, the beacon out. And in, I think it was about four hours fan from the modern community managed to make his own beacon to detect robots he made it literally from the ground up he made it in four hours working and implemented it into the game um highly likely that it could be a big conspiracy but smart enough they don't tell you any sort of time scale to anything which i guess that, that's clever like because then if they don't have a time scale they can't let anybody down they can just say well, we told you it'd come out when it's ready, and it's not ready yet. It could be. It'd be interesting if that green stuff was like some sort of weird thing. But I've, I've never really seen. I've seen it like this before, but I've never seen it like the smudges on the rock that it's been. I know Fant's been suffering with his health a little bit anyway, so give him the uh, the power of being in charge of that kind of thing, I'd really. I think he'd get frustrated. I really think he'd get very frustrated. He'd probably see the work going in, and the work ethic, and wonder what's going on. I need to make this a little bit better to slide onto, get some wedges or wheels or something to position it. Or we'll change the truck again, but it works for now. Chances are you'd hope that there's going to bring some optimization along with the update. Because if they drop Chapter 2 update without any sort of optimization, they're going to really let themselves down. You shouldn't want to do that you should want to optimize your game because otherwise chapter two is just going to be half-hearted again it's just going to be a little bit pants because no one's going to be able to enjoy it to what it could or would be because of the optimization being a bit meh let's keep the fuel out actually Whee! Hmm. 
maybe. So I'm thinking I could build a storage chest, a special storage chest thingy for. This all connects up at all three sides. No, it's not. I could rotate this round when we get some sort of auto spitty thing to spit the oil into the chest so that I can craft fuel and have a smart chest under here that's like a fuel storage so that I don't have to keep going into the big chest. I think we're getting too ahead of ourselves at the minute. What is your guys' um, whole conspiracy thing with pyramids on this game? I've seen a couple, it might have been the same person actually Cherry, might have mentioned it before, but I'm sure I've seen different people mention pyramids. love to know what you guys are on about with these pyramids genuinely i think you I think you're a bit crazy not gonna lie but then wouldn't life be boring if we were all saying uh, i don't need this on here either and uh, technically This either. Alright. What else can we put in here? We need a couple of blocks maybe to fix that all up. Got some lights out there. Let's put these lights over here as well, just to do something. In fact, let's put them up on the sides. Because we're cool. Okay, so I've got a spare level five controller. <laughs> the refinery stuff ain't gonna fall out the refine but don't be saying stuff like that nope i've got a lot of switches now okay let's try this this probably isn't gonna work what we're looking for six way six way tubing six way tubing six way six way pipe work there it is i want to see if this will fit behind do i want to see if it'll fit behind is that actually going to be beneficial to me probably not Using myself, what I'm trying to do now. Garrett, are you hinting at that you're eating a cat in a box? That's a bit weird. it goes down here first can I fit this around here can is that going to benefit me I want a 90 into this Ooh. 
glass. Sand. Rocks I've just taken away. I know I'm still live. Surprising, isn't it? It's crazy. Been here for too long. It's nearly dinner time, man. Four hours. Ah! Four hours, and what have we got to show for it? A base and a bit of a farm. How does this game take so long? Is a very good question. What am I waiting for? That. Okay, and then we need this. That'll give me 30 and a glass bendy pipe is how much cost? Ooh, we need some level two. Great. Wait, 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 wait. We're on the way to potentially getting some level three metal. What do we want level three metal for and when do we want it? Transfer tubes. Oh, we need a hundred. We need a lot. Boy, do we need a lot. Hmm. I know. I've had a good good concurrent viewers this whole time whoever's been leaving their account AFK have been really helpful we've had pretty much 10 viewers for the length of the stream on average which is absolutely phenomenal statistics statistics I really appreciate it. I don't know who those 10 people are that have been chilling around like I say you might have just turned it on and then left your account and walked off but either way man seriously I appreciate it and now I'm stuck Bosh, right. Okay. If I go in here, so that's the filter. I don't want to do that. But if I go here, that gives me access to that chest. But then if I go there, I'm kind of scuppered. But then item sign interesting I just feel this is a waste of tubing If I do this correctly, how many can get around this? I can get five around it. So, next question is, smash the wall out the back here. Take the wall out the back here and bring the pipe work along and underneath to feed a load of six-way pipes. Six-way pipes surrounded by a load of smart chests so that I can access both the filter That could work. That could be the way forwards. Um, so I want to be through there. Do I have any normal straight pieces of pipe? Or have I utilised them elsewhere? I have utilised them elsewhere. Right. So... Take that bend, put it into a straight piece. Straight pieces are going to cost me glass now. Who's counting, viewers? You crazy? You keep coming in and out. Why? You're crazy. Why would you turn on three accounts? Honestly. Appreciate it, though. Right, so here's what we're going to do. Got 
plenty of this. This is just going to be spare scrappage floorage at the minute. This can move out of the way for now. As can this and this. Straight piece of pipe work here. Gonna pop out here. So we're gonna go along the lines of this. That's not gonna work. Ah! Because you can only have a pipe going in and out. You can only have one pipe going in. Uh, and then you'd have to use another slot to go out in order to link them up. Why does my brain not work fast enough? It's really nuts. <gasps> you might be right with the old Illuminati thing. There are a lot of pyramids in this game, huh? But yeah, what my plan, if you can call it a plan, was just to whack that on there and then I was to go one, two, three, four, five all around it. But unfortunately, Because I, I need to access the filter. That's the thing. I need to be able to access the filter and the storage. So it needs to be that high. Filter, storage. Okay. Whoop. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. That red tote bar is going to be explosive. It's going to be nuts. So in order for it to be that high. I need this to be at the end so that they can feed through each other. Does that work like that? I don't actually know. One way to find out, I guess. Do I only have one smart chest? I thought I had two. What happened to the other one? Do I only have one smart chest? Do I have... I was two of those, wasn't it? One smart chest. Sorry. I'm losing myself again. Two smart chests. Right. Take it easy, David. Thanks for dropping by, as usual. Appreciate you. It's been awesome. Thank you so much. It's been a long one. Very long one. Been interesting. So for those of you trying to work out what my brains are saying without seeing into my brain, what I would like to do is get a six-way pipe tube thing, say like here, and then literally run a wall of smart chests along. And I'm just currently seeing if I can feed through one smart chest to another depending on their filter systems. So for example, if I find my smart chest and... I will take some wood with me. I need to connect these up to here. Because I know that these have got all the stuff in them. So, if I go like this. And then, let's make this one a filter for wood. And then this one a filter for the metal. I'm only going to hook one of them up to the button for starters. If I hit this one up. And I press this. It does filter through. Awesome. Okay, cool. That means that can work. All right. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Which means... Make that a six-way pipe piece. Make that a 90. Uh, yeah. 90. Bada ding, bada boom. See where this goes. Um, boom. 
awesome tricks. Poggers, dude! Yeah, that's the intention, Garrett. We're going to try and do something for pretty much as much as we can. I wish they were vanilla as well. I really do. Uh, we might as well come out the side here. Do we want to go up first or do we want to go out first? Um, boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. That'd be two nineties. We'll just go out first, maybe. I mean, he's not really holding his guns with his opposable thumbs, is he? So where do we want to put this? That's a good question. Everybody be cool, this is rubbery. Whoop. I need to get a floor out here ASAP Rocky. Maybe that is where it needs to be after all. Well, that could do one more or less, right? What are my options? Here. Or here. And if I do it there, then that's in line with that. Babushka. Either way I do it, I'm going to have to have two 90s, aren't I? I'm going to have to have two 90s. Yeah, because I want it up there, wasn't it? Was it there? Object is not busy. Go away. So if it's there, I can get to the filter system. Yeah, cool. What a palaver. That, that way up. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But for now, what we could do is turn them completely on the side. So that they go upwards in a that kind of fashion both giving me access to the filter and to the item inside i am quite literally a genius i mean could do that up i don't know how high it needs to go but can go upwards can't I so that'll work and then as long as we've got let's see what this items thing works like nice all oh, my days is a lot to go through there's literally everything and I think we've just gone past it That works. And I can still get into it. Awesome. Maybe put it there though. So yeah, well, that's how I was going to do it, I guess. And it will give us an ability to go through and it will work for us. That was actually that one, wasn't it? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, maybe just need a chest up on the outside. 
so that I've got somewhere to plug stuff into. Let these guys just for now. <laughs> Less than ideal, but it gives us everything that we need. Then I can just rock up into base and just plug stuff in here. And the switch. I mean that might be where we're going wrong. It's not gonna it's not gonna sort it if it doesn't know what it's sorting. I'm starting to feel that you guys are starting to pick on me a little bit. I don't know why I just get a little bit of a hint that you don't appreciate my insanity. I mean, my genius. Now, I could be wrong. I could be, like, misreading what's being said, but it's just the impression that you guys are giving off. I don't know why. Don't know why at all. Not yet, anyway, but just thought I'd share with the group. Yeah, like the story. I've heard that before. I know you weren't, Mandy. You were being well behaved. Nice one of the group. At least there is one nice one of the group. I'm very disappointed in you guys. Very disappointed in you guys. Okay, right. So, uh, and now I've taken the... What panel did we take out? We did take a big one out. I'm going to swap this one out. For this one. Just because... If the shoe fits... No, it's not going to be a middle here, is there? It's going to be a really awkward shape. It's as middle as the middle can be, I guess. But there. Uh, so, yeah. Today, we've achieved something. Somebody got in. Need to have a look at doing some sort of object removal to get rid of all the pieces that get stuck. Look, a free hay bot. Cool. Um, honestly, my guys and guys X, we are literally five minutes away from being four hours. And I think you guys have done outstanding in chilling around for that long. I really appreciate it in all honesty and fairness. You guys have really helped my 2020. So I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's popped in. And who's still here and who's been here in and out, in, you know, as and when. It's been fantastic. Oh, look, I've got another one there. So with that, I'm just going to put this up here if it'll fit, which it doesn't look like it wants to. And I'm going to say Cheerios and Toodle Pips. I'm saying goodbye. As the, uh, was it famous singer or the famous song once said, it's time. I'm not going to sing it because I don't want to start raining. Jesus, Lion, are you still here as well? You guys are something else. Honestly, and this doesn't want to fit here anyway. But yes, I appreciate it. You guys have been fantastic. Um, I'll work on something else next time. Either we'll continue to extend the storage or we'll work on something for the farm. We'll get a load more metal and we'll get going somewhere along the line. But you guys have been fantastic. I just wanted to say, I hope to see you again next time in the next video, whatever that may be and whatever that may bring. 
I'm just going to get myself in a position for some sort of screenshot, and then I will be out of here. Take it easy, guys. Have a good day. You've been awesome. Bye.